I can only imagine. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you the February installment of my Heart to Heart series. And basically what this is, is me just taking a, a few minutes to talk with you about whatever's going on with me, with my family, with YouTube, with you guys, and you know, talk about some things that aren't necessarily makeup related. And you guys know that I keep my channel primarily makeup related because that's my passion and that's what I'm here to do. But I'm still a human being, I'm still a woman, I'm still a mother, I'm still a teacher and a, a wife and a daughter and you know, life is life. It's challenging, it can be a struggle sometimes and sometimes you don't know that you're not alone. And so I like to talk about things that are important to me and that I'm passionate about passionate about and about things that um, you know are going on in the world <laughs> and the topic of today's discussion is YouTube and all the changes that have taken place and its effect on smaller channels including mine and um, yeah I think we all kind of got a blow to the gut um, at least the smaller channels did because we thought we were trucking towards monetization and we found out that we were really far away from it and it, it just kind of knocked the air out of us for a little while and I think there have been a lot of things that people have done to try to combat that and to try to make it better and to try to um, figure out a way to make it happen regardless and some of those things have been good and some have, have not been good. And you guys know that even despite our best efforts, um, there's been a lot of things that are kind of working against us. Um, personally, I just wanted to tell you how I felt about it. I, you know, I was trekking towards 10,000 views and probably in a few days or so, I will be at 10,000 views. And I thought at that point that I could apply for monetization and I was excited about that because that was really a big goal of mine. And like I've said in the past, um, my goal of monetization was never really so much about becoming famous or making a lot of money because I knew that that was kind of irrelevant and actually, you know, not likely. And that was okay with me. All I wanted was a little bit of an income coming in from my channel so that I could use that money to invest back into the makeup that I use to review and to do tutorials and all those things and just to keep my ch my channel relevant. Um, unfortunately, you can't review and use palettes that came out five years ago and be relevant um, in, in most cases. I am finding that there's a lot of people that are interested in me as a person. I'm finding that there are people that are interested in makeup in general and they don't necessarily have to have the latest of the latest to be interested in what I'm doing and I appreciate that. Um, so. Basically, I just kind of felt like I was cut off at the knees and at the beginning I was just really angry to be really honest I was steamed because I felt like it was unfair and I didn't feel like the reasons that they gave for the changes were um, Legit I didn't think that they were um, Important enough to do what they did um, I really believe that it was just the bottom line was the money that was being made off of the people that are drawing large crowds um, unfortunately for me, I think that takes away um, the charm of YouTube. Uh, what has drawn me into YouTube has been the fact that there's just real people kind of throwing themselves up in front of a camera and showing their lives. Um, a lot of my favorite channels are channels that are just regular people doing regular things. I've always been interested in people. I've been interested in what makes people tick. I'm interested in other people's lives. And I think we all just kind of want to be involved in the human experience with each other. And the way our world is now, we're so divided in so many areas of life that I think we, we want a place where we can belong with people that, you know, like the same things we like. Um, so what's been interesting is, is live streams have become more popular because they offer a lot of hours in a short amount of time. Um, I really, you know, jumped into that. I attended everybody's lives. I did what I could to support everybody. Um, but really quickly it got very overwhelming. Um, I was subscribing to a lot of new people. I was trying to support them all. I was trying to attend all their live streams to the point 
that I couldn't take the time to film. I didn't have time to edit because I was so busy doing all of that. It was important to me to show support to those people, but it got to the point where it got really overwhelming and I had to take a few steps back. And um, I know some people went at it hard and heavy and they got what they needed and, and now they've kind of disappeared and that's okay. Um, but on the other side of things, there's a lot of us that are still here trying to get what we need to get. Well, hello, Boo Bear. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but he came in and went, meow. <laughs> there he is again. What is it? Are you going to come up there and terrorize your brother? Please be good. Please be nice. Don't bite. Be nice. Good boy. Yes, that's a good boy. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Personality. Guys, I love him so much. And before I get finished, he's probably going to be back there biting his brother on the back of the neck, but I love him. Um, where was I? Sorry. Eli might just, yeah, he's like, I'm out of here. I'm not waiting around for it. <laughs> anyway, um, there's still a lot of us left here without a thousand subs. There's a lot of us here that aren't even close to 4,000 hours. And, you know, the, the threshold or the time that we had to meet the threshold um, to either retain monetization or to gain monetization. With, um, you know, the, the deadline was February 20th and it is soon approaching just within a few days. And there's no way I'm going to get to that threshold by that time. But I'm not working, I wasn't ever working for that because I knew that was unrealistic. But I'm still shooting for a thousand subscribers and I'm still trying to get my 4,000 hours before the 12 months is up. In my understanding, I started my channel on June 19th, so the previous 12 months, it's going to be in June is whenever um, I'm going to to have to have those 4,000 hours in. So that's what I'm shooting for. I'm working hard for that. Um, I am trying to do a live stream once or twice a week. Uh, that's not always feasible with my health and with my very busy schedule, but I'm trying to do that. I'm doing what I can. And, and I really appreciate the support that I've gotten from a lot of the people that frequent my videos and my channel. Um, and I'm trying to do the same for them. And so basically, I kind of wanted to do this just because I wanted to put in my two cents. But I also wanted to tell people who aren't involved in the YouTube community as far as being a creator what you, what you can do to help um, the small YouTube channels. If you have a more significant channel, you have, you know, 5,000 or you have several thousand um, and you have a bigger platform and you really enjoy somebody's channel, tell your watchers, <laughs> tell your viewers and your subscribers about channels that you enjoy. Um, you know, give a little synopsis of what the channel involves and guide people there. Um, if you are a person that is not a creator, but you watch a lot of YouTube videos and you have people that you really enjoy and you haven't subscribed to them, do so. You know, it's another number. It matters right now to those people. And if you enjoy their content, then support them in that way. Um, another thing that you can do is watch the videos. Um, watch it in, in its entirety. Even if you don't have the time to to watch the entire thing at that moment, let it run. At least let it run in its entirety. That's important because right now YouTube is looking for engagement. It's looking for watch time. It's looking for people who are sticking around and watching the whole video and not clicking out after 15 seconds. The views aren't irrelevant, but they're not as important as they used to be. You know, somebody just clicking on your video and clicking back out isn't good enough anymore. So watch the videos, comment on the videos, share the videos. Do what you can to help that person progress, um, especially if you love that channel. I'm not saying that most of us are pretty hard-headed and stubborn and we're not going to let this take us down, but some people are getting really discouraged and deciding to, to give it up because they feel like it's, you know, what's being expected of them is too overwhelming. Um, and, and we don't want that to happen for people who are creating really good content. So if there's somebody you enjoy, subscribe to them, watch their videos, comment and share, and all those things that you can do to encourage other people to see the videos and, you know, to join you in, in being a part of that community that is, is being created there. It's important. Another thing you can do 
is attend the live streams. You know, even if you can't stay for long, pop in, say hello, give a like. You know, do all you can to support the people that, that you really enjoy their channels because it's important right now and I think I'm making that very clear. Um, you have lots of platforms. You have Twitter, you have Snapchat, you have Facebook, you have Pinterest, you have all these things that you can use to pr promote somebody if you enjoy their their content. Um, I've noticed a lot of the people that I watch are showing on their Instagrams the people that they're watching and supporting just to get their names out there for other people to see. Um, I have a Facebook group called The Beauty Within. I haven't been that good about it, but I'm going to be even more intentional about including the people that I love on my Facebook page. There's 150 people in there that could be seeing these videos and they may fall in love with that person and if I wouldn't have ever shared that with them, they wouldn't have even known that person existed. There's just too many channels and too many creators for us just to happen upon everybody um, that we might enjoy watching. And so, you know, I'm going to share those. I'm going to share um, people that I'm enjoying that I don't feel like are getting a lot of love. I've noticed um, Nikki Murphy, Cauliflower, there's a couple people that I've watched for a lot of years, are starting to do shout outs to smaller channels or um, just getting the names out there and linking those. Um, a girl that, a woman... <laughs> A girl. A lady that I watched named Ann has an entire list of people that she likes that she put into her um, into her info box that was promoting those people. Collabs are a really good way to get some new viewers as well because if you collab with someone else, their following is going to learn about you and your following is going to learn about that person. So if there's somebody that you respect their work, ask for a collab. Um, you know, we're doing one on my beauty group now. It's like a big time collab. It's a challenge and we're all doing it together. And then at the end of this thing, I'm going to do a kind of a, a finale video that shows all the things that we've done together and link people's channels and, and Instagrams, you know, just as a way to get some names out there and, and just to network. I think this has become a really good networking um, situation and possibility. I, I'm actually watching channels that I never would have sought out and that's exciting because I'm learning that I have interest in things that I never really thought that I would. Um, I've also found some really cool people that I never would have met otherwise. Last night I was in um, in a live stream with a woman that her channel's name is Aged Gracefully and she was lovely. She reminded me of my former mother-in-law and I just instantly felt comfortable with her and really enjoyed sitting around just chatting with the people that were in her chat and I never would have met her. <laughs> so there's a lot of good things that are coming out of this, but um, I just kind of wanted to touch base about that because in a heart to heart, that's what's been on my heart, you know? How do I help the people that I enjoy watching and how do I help the people that have the same kind of passion that I have for creating and putting ourselves out there and showing what we feel is our expertise and things that, you know, we have a, a kindred spirit about with each other. And so if if there are creators that are in your lives and in any capacity, someone that you enjoy watching or somebody that you actually know, do what you can to support them. You know, most people have playlists on their channels and you can just go and click on the play all and watch their videos. You may see videos from two years ago that you never even knew were there that you would have ordinarily not even ever come to if you hadn't intentionally done that. Um, I am so enjoying that. I, I am running playlists left and right, and I am in, so enjoying seeing where these people that I've only known for a few months, where they came from, where they started. And it's really cool to see their growth and see how far they've come. It's really awesome. So, you know, that's another thing you can do is just go stream somebody's playlist and watch and see, you know, see where they came from, see where they're coming from and you know how they got from point A to point now and so I think that's basically all I wanted to talk about and I know this isn't an hour and a half heart to heart but you know that was what was on my heart um, I really I really it's really important to me so that's why I wanted to dedicate a video to it so 
I'm not going to sit here and try to, off the top of my head, list people that I really want to support at this particular time because there's so many. Um, and, and chances are, even with the best of my intention, I'm probably going to forget somebody. Um, and so I'm actually just going to offer myself out here. If you would like me to add your link to my info box for this video and you're not already on my list, please let me know and I will add you. Um, we'll have this lengthy list of people who are trying to meet those thresholds, who are trying to keep their YouTube channel afloat, and at least there will be a list of people who are, you know, saying, hey, here's my channel, come check me out, give me a chance, and I don't care if it's 15 miles long, let's just make this giant list of people, and let's endeavor to um, maybe take two or three a day and go check them out. We can do that. If we if we want people to support us and to, you know, encourage us and help us out, we have to be willing to do the same for them. And it doesn't have to be to the point of exhaustion or being overwhelmed. Don't allow it to become that. Do a couple a day. Whenever you are feeling overwhelmed by it, take a step back and take a couple days off from it. And then when you have the energy to do it, do it again. Um, but, you know, bottom line is, a lot of these channels aren't going to stay afloat if people don't in, don't encourage them and don't support them. And so I'm just asking for you to do what's in your power to support my channel and to support other people's channels, um, especially those that you really respect what they're doing. So I think that's it for me. Um, you know, I have a lot of stuff coming up and I'm excited about some of the little things that I'm doing, but I'm also excited about some of the bigger things that I'm doing that you won't be seeing for a while, like the makeup challenge in my group and, and all of that. But um, you know what? I appreciate your support. Please keep on supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I'm not going to give up, but I, I want to reach those thresholds sooner than later, and I want my channel to grow. And for the people that put in the kind of work that we put in, the time, the money, um, you know, we want to have success in what we're doing. And that takes other people in this, this kind of venue. So thank you again for watching my videos and sharing them, for subscribing and giving me likes and comments and all the things that you do to show me that you have my back and that you're, um, you know, trying to to get my channel out there. I appreciate it so much and I will continue to do the same for you. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care and God bless. Bye guys. I can only imagine how it is to be with you from the first day I saw your face.